what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how you can present alerts in your swift ui app so fairly basic concept but the way you do it in swift ui is very very different from how you would do it in ui kit so here's the app we're going to put together we've got this nice navigation view with the title of course we've got a button we tap on it and uh, we actually have two actions here we can dismiss it and we can also change the color and you'll see uh, every time you know we hit this button it actually toggles it between red and white so what we're doing here is you know, showing the UI as well as using some state properties to do things like show the alert and the background color and all that good stuff. So shorter video, but definitely uh, a pillar for Swift UI development. So that said, make sure you destroy the like button as per usual, helps out with the video and the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, welcome, hit subscribe, get X code ready, get excited. Let's talk about some alerts in Swift UI. Quick pause before the video. This video is brought to you by iosacademy.io. If you're interested in building some of the top apps from around the world, like YouTube, Instagram, Uber, and Facebook, head on over to iosacademy.io and toss in your email in the waitlist form here to be notified as content becomes available. Content includes interview prep, free courses, premium content, how to build TikTok, Messenger, Instagram, and anything else you could think of in between. That said, let's get into the video. All right, we're gonna begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project here. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this Swift UI Alerts. Make sure your uh, interface here, as well as your live cycle, are both Swift UI, and of course your language is Swift. Go ahead and continue. We'll toss this project onto our desktop. And let me expand this. Let's hit this button here to get our canvas loading. This guy takes a little bit to load, so just be patient with it. And uh, let's talk about what we need. Ah, looks like it was fast that time, sweet. So cool. So as you saw in the very beginning, we're gonna have a navigation view with a nice title up here. We'll have a button, when we tap the button, we'll show our alert. And then of course, when we hit dismiss, it should go away. So let's uh, take care of that title at the top first. So I'm gonna pop in a uh, navigation view. This is gonna have a vertical stack in it. And on this, I'm gonna add a modifier of a navigation title and I'm gonna call it Swift UI Alerts, just like that. And that gives us this cool looking title up here. The next thing we are gonna want in here is a button. And this is of course what the user will be able to tap. The action is gonna be basically to show the alert. So we'll see how to do that in a moment. And let's go ahead and uh, give it some text. So I'm gonna say, tap me just like that and let's uh, let's style this up a little bit because it's a little it's a little bland for my liking so i'm going to give it a background color we're going to say let's do green just like that and uh, that's actually adding it to the text so let me grab this whole thing and let me drop that modifier on the button itself and it uh, looks like it's still actually still adding it to that so let me first give it a frame here with a width of 200 a height of 50 an alignment of a uh, center we're gonna have some padding on this. We've got a color. We're gonna give it a corner radius so it looks a little nicer on the edges. And let's uh, style up this text. We're gonna give it a foreground color of white. We're also gonna bold it. And finally, I'm gonna also give it a system fonts of system fonts of size. Let's stick with 24. So it's a nice chunky looking button here. All right, looking good. So we've got our button. How do we actually add an alert? Well, what we first want to do before we add an alert is add a state property up here. And that state property is basically going to hold, um, you know, the state of if the alert is presented on the UI or not. And, you know, keeping with the theme of Swift UI, we need to make sure all of our uh, data is kind of binded so that the UI can update automatically. So let's introduce a state and we can actually make this a private var. And we're going to say alert is presented just like that. By default, it's gonna be false, unless for some weird reason you want it to be presented when your app launches, which is probably not the case. And uh, what we wanna do in this alert action here, or the button action, is we're just gonna say, um, for that uh, alert presented, we're just gonna set that to true. Now notice we're not actually toggling it here. You might've seen you know, in other videos um, that to you know, toggle between different states, you would do this, but we're actually gonna explicitly set it to true and when you actually dismiss the alert, um, the Swift UI will basically handle uh, getting rid of, uh, you know, resetting this back to false rather, which will get rid of the alert as well as reset this state property. So you don't need to worry about resetting this back to false, but that spiel aside, how the heck do you show an alert? So it's kind of strange actually, but an alert is actually a modifier. 
So we're gonna put the alert modifier off of the button here. And there's two constructors here. I prefer this one, the is presented uh, and the content. It's easier to read and to understand, frankly. So this first one is gonna be our binded uh, state property. And this is actually gonna be, you know, the content of the alert, which you guessed it, is an alert. So we're gonna open up an alert here. And there's actually a few uh, initializers for this as well. So let's see. So this one just takes a title, of course. This one is a title message and a dismiss button. You can have a secondary button. Let's stick with this one. Let's see what it looks like. So the first thing here that it wants is the title. So I'm gonna say text. Um, let's get creative with this. We'll say purchase successful. Let's spell successful correctly. Next up is a message, which will also of course be a text. Now keep in mind, it's not just a string, it's a text since you know we are building a view here. And here we're gonna say your in-app purchase went through with an exclamation mark is we're cool like that. And the last thing is a dismiss button, uh, which is an alert dot button, which I believe is an enum. So if we just hit a dot here, uh, you'll see there are a couple options. We've got cancel, you can pass in you know, a label. So I'm gonna stick with default here. And the label on this is going to be a text. And we're gonna say got it just like that. And uh, that there, we should be able to see our alert when we tap on the button now. Now, like I said, um, we don't need to set this to false because when we tap on the, you know, the main button here, this dismiss button, it'll automatically set the state property to false and we'll be in good shape. So let me hit resume over here on our preview, make sure everything is loading. And uh, let's see if we can get away with the live uh, preview here. So we're gonna hit that little button. I'm gonna tap on this and boom, just like that, we've got our alert. We tap it and it goes away. So super, super simple. So a couple of things to take away here. The state property needs to be there, right? So we can control the state updates of our UI. Uh, and that the other thing is the alert is a modifier. Um, and then that modifier has a content, which is a view builder to return an actual alert. Uh, it always struck me as a little strange that Apple added this as a modifier, but you know, Apple does what Apple does. So let's take a look at um, another constructor here and then we'll wrap this up. So we've got this title primary and secondary button here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a title once more of um, let's see, purchase, let's call this rather, would you like to purchase, which is more of a message, but whatever. Uh, primary button here, we're gonna stick with the button. Let's see, so we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna stick with the default one, and this is gonna have a label. You also notice there is um, like a label and an action. So if you did wanna perform something custom, uh, which you know 80% of the time with uh, you know, a, a button in the alert view you want to do, you can do that. So here, I'll do that as an example. So this one we can say purchase. And uh, in this, we can actually pass in a closure. So I'm just going to go ahead and print out uh, start purchase. And then this other thing here, let me line break that so it's a little cleaner. We're just going to bring in a cancel button. Uh, and this is going to be, once again, a text. And this will be no thanks. And let me drag this over so we can actually see that a little better since the font is kind of large. And uh, let me hit pause for the live preview. Quick recap, we've got a title, primary button, and a secondary uh, button here. I'm gonna hit Command Shift Y, which will open up our console. And let's go ahead and give this a run in the live preview, fingers crossed that uh, it actually works. So we're gonna hit this. Uh, we see this looking alert now. We've got a no thanks and a purchase. So I'm gonna hit no thanks, it should go away. And I'm gonna hit purchase and it should go away. And we should see a print here, which it looks like we're not seeing for whatever reason. So let's see, I am going to, let's see what we can do about that. So sometimes the prints in the actual live, the actual canvas don't work. Uh, instead, what I'll go ahead and do is we'll change the background color uh, when we tap on it. So I'm gonna introduce another state here and it's gonna be a private var and we'll say background updated will be false. And what I'm gonna do in here is uh, we will introduce uh, this whole V stack inside of a Z stack. So uh, let me grab this whole thing. We're gonna toss it in a Z stack. I'll paste the vertical stack in there. And by default, we're gonna say, um, we're gonna have a color on here and we'll say color.red, just like that. And let's go ahead and stop this live preview and hit resume here. We should see the whole thing turn to red once the canvas decides to do its job like that, cool. And uh, here, what I'll go ahead and say is we're gonna use this uh, states. So we'll say, um, let's see, we'll say if the background, if background is updated, we are going to say color.red. Uh, otherwise, we are gonna say color.blue, just like that. 
And let's go ahead and hit try again. I'm not sure if I can toss that in directly like that. I probably can't realistically. Uh, so let's go ahead and just make it a standard, uh, uh, you know, standard uh, if conditional. Uh, and let's see if we can update this. So I am going to grab this guy and then in the default action, we are gonna say that binded and we're gonna say toggle just like that. And we wanna say self dot since we're in a closure. And let's see, we should be actually able to do that. We actually don't need the dollar sign there. So let's go ahead and by default it is blue because this is set to uh, false, this background updated. Let me go ahead and hit this uh, live preview. We get this running. I'm gonna tap on this, we should see our alert. And when I tap on that, this turns to red. So what's going on here is that what I wanted to demonstrate was this closure for action gets, gets called, uh, you know, once, once we tap on this button, which in fact is purchase. Uh, if you have a prints in here and you're working with the canvas, just be careful because it looks like it doesn't work. Uh, but in reality, what's going on is the live preview doesn't actually play nicely with the console. You're gonna have to run it in a simulator for that. So that's about it. That's how you can play with alerts uh, in your Swift UI app. So quick recap. We've got a state property here to hold the state of, uh, you know, if an alert is uh, presented or not. We pass that as a bindable property directly into is presented. And uh, we set that to true whenever we tap on uh, this tap me button that we've got going on here on the UI. And uh, yeah, I added a, another state property here just to reset the, or to toggle the background color. So actually, if we tap on this again, if I tap, uh, you know, purchase again, what you'll see, let me go ahead and hit resume. <laughs> What you'll see is because we're toggling it, it should actually change back uh, between the colors. So if I hit it again, it'll be blue. If I hit it again, it'll be red. So that's it. That's enough for me spieling about alerts and what I've got going on here. If you haven't hit the like button already, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below if you use alerts. Do you like SwiftUI? Do you want to see more SwiftUI videos? Any feedback? What do you guys want to see? Premium content, courses, the whole nine yards. Let me know. I love talking to you guys. Uh, and hit that subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with any new videos, any cool Apple iOS developments that hit the news. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.